Breaking news, Donald Trump is suddenly terrified of being sued by Taylor Swift after he shared some bizarre AI-generated photos of her and her fans. And I can't tell if Donald Trump didn't know they were AI-generated or if he knew and still shared them without Taylor Swift's consent. And I can't tell which one would be worse. But this article reads, Trump suddenly looks very afraid of being sued by Taylor Swift. Donald Trump now wants nothing to do with the AI images he shared just a few days ago. Trump is trying to brush off the fact that he shared AI-generated images of Taylor Swift endorsing his campaign to his True Social account earlier this week, now claiming that he doesn't know, quote, anything about them. And that is a classic, classic Trump tactic, saying you don't know anything about something when you've been caught on camera talking about it or when you made the post yourself. And I do want to point out that Donald Trump has had a rough week. I don't know how the Democratic National Convention could have gone any better for us and any worse for them. I mean, we had the energy, we had the substance, we had the style, we had the celebrities, and we even had tear-jerk moments that didn't exist in the RNC because they are weirdos, and that led to Donald Trump looking like this. He looks old, he looks pale behind his orange makeup, his hair is thinning, he looks incredibly, incredibly bad and rough. I do think the DNC took a toll on him. I think he watched it. I think he's glued to his television. We know that he's glued to his television. I think he watched every single second, and he even sent out a funny tweet that said, is she talking about me when Kamala Harris was roasting him? But back to this article, Donald Trump is trying to brush off these photos, and I want to show you the photos that he posted on Truth Social. So Peter Heinlein said, lol, Trump posted a collage of AI-generated Taylor Swift fans wearing Swifties for Trump t-shirts and wrote, I accept as if this were real. I mean, this is uniquely pathetic even for Trump. We have a photo right here of a fake t-shirt on a real person. This t-shirt is completely photo Photoshopped. We have a picture here of completely fake human beings. This is not a real person. These are not real women on the left, and these are not real women on the right. This picture of Taylor Swift is completely AI generated. It says, Taylor wants you, Trump. This right here, all of these photos are completely fake, and it's honestly kind of creepy. It says, Swifties turning to Trump after ISIS foiled Taylor Swift concert. None of this is true at all. This is honestly some deranged QAnon stuff, and Donald Trump said, I accept. Donald Trump thinks these are real photos. I don't even know. Donald Trump is like the crazy QAnon uncle who has a direct line to millions of other crazy QAnon people in this country. But to continue this article, quote, I don't know anything about them other than somebody else generated them. Trump told Fox Business correspondent Gary Trimble after his campaign event in Asheboro, North Carolina on Wednesday, quote, I didn't generate them. We know Trump didn't generate them because he's way too stupid to even write in a prompt like that. But if Donald Trump didn't know they were AI, that's actually concerning. That is genuinely concerning. But this guy looks like he wouldn't be able to tell AI from reality. Also, Jennifer said on Twitter, the thing about Trump stealing Taylor Swift's image to fake an endorsement is that it's exactly who he is. If he wants something from a woman, then he takes it, whether or not she wants to give it to him. That is a great breakdown. One fabricated image shared by Trump of the notoriously litigious pop star had Swift clad in red, white, and blue, posting, posing like Uncle Sam before an American flag and blazing with the text, Taylor wants you to vote for Donald Trump. And I do want to point out that Taylor Swift is notorious for trying to sue people who use her image without her consent. And Taylor Swift has already sent a cease and desist and threatened legal action against a 17 year old who is sharing disgusting AI generated photos of her. And I wouldn't be surprised if she does the same with Donald Trump. Who wants Donald Trump uh, making up a fake endorsement of you? Quote, I accept Trump captioned the image. This is just next level derangement. Donald Trump so desperately wants, so desperately wants an endorsement from just one cool celebrity that is not Hulk Hogan or Kid Rock, but all the cool celebrities are on our side. Another Swift-related post shared by the former president depicted a group of women marching in Swifties for Trump shirts. The post was labeled satire by its creator, but Donald Trump never labels anything satire in the same way that Elon Musk boosted an AI-generated video of Kamala Harris apparently saying that she was a DEI high it was a disgusting, disgusting video, completely fake, and Elon Musk did not label it satire. Even the person who created it, the person who created it is a degenerate, disgusting human being. They even put, this is complete satire, and Elon Musk boosted it to hundreds of millions of people without saying that. So we are fighting an information war against not only Russia, but MAGA Republicans who are helping Russia. If Trump truly can't tell the difference between an AI-generated image and a genuine photograph, especially one that's doctored to illustrate a campaign endorsement, 
then that's a significant problem. But it's far from the only AI-generated image that Trump has shared in recent weeks. Shortly after he began posting to his Twitter account, the first time he'd done so in earnest since the January 6th riot, the former president shared an AI-generated video of himself and ex-owner Elon Musk dancing. Still, Trump warned Trimble, quote, AI is always very dangerous, except for when he uses it, I guess. And I just want to point out, I want to reiterate how dangerous it is to have somebody in such a high position of power. Unfortunately, Donald Trump does have a lot of power. Many, many people do trust him. Somebody so powerful sharing AI-generated videos of their political opponent without pointing that out is honestly close to election interference. I don't want to use the words election interference too much, but pushing out AI-generated content could be considered that. Let me know if you guys agree. Quote, somebody came out, they said, oh, look at this. Trump attempted to explain to the reporter on Wednesday, these were all made up by other people. AI is always very dangerous in that way. It's not the first time this center summer that Trump has obsessed over Swift. During a closed-door meeting between Trump and House Republicans in June, his first visit to Capitol Hill since before the January 6th insurrection, Trump insisted on discussing the pop phenom, lamenting that she might endorse President Joe Biden while he was still in the race. Days before the meeting, Variety reported that Trump had spoken at length about Swift in a one-on-one -on -one interview describing her as unusually beautiful. And one more time, I think this is the main takeaway from Jennifer, what she said. The thing about Trump stealing Taylor Swift's image to fake an endorsement is that it's exactly who he is. If he wants something from a woman, then he takes it whether or not she gives it to him. Donald Trump just takes it, and we have seen that time and time again. If you agree with that tweet, make sure you leave a like on the video, and I want to leave you with this. The Democratic National Convention had a lot of energy. Again, we had all of the substance. I think we are all feeling great after that, but now is the time when we double down and we make sure we door knock, canvas, phone bank, mobilize in any way you can. If you have $5 to donate, donate it. If you don't have $5 or you don't have any time, maybe do a little bit of phone banking for 30 minutes a day, whatever you can do. Even leaving a like on this video and interacting with people in the comment section, that is a way to promote, to boost a pro-democracy message. But the best thing you can do is actually go out there, boots on the ground and canvas, get people to vote in November. Go to vote.org, make sure your friends and family have a plan to vote in November so that we can bring home this election and finally defeat the threat of Donald Trump. And I think that Donald Trump knows he is close to being defeated. I mean, look at this image of him. He is not doing too well lately. He still wears his old red tie and his America flag pin, but something just something about him has been lost. His spark is completely gone. Again, if you agree, leave a like on the video, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of this beautiful community. We just opened up an Adam Mockler membership program. It's $5 a month and you get access to emojis and extra content. Go join if you'd like. You don't have to. I'll be doing a DNC recap stream either tonight or tomorrow, so make sure you're there. It will be a lot of fun, but most importantly, make sure you have a great rest of your day. Peace out.